Hello folks, today we're looking at adding an RSS feed block to our Moodle course page. I'm logged into a Moodle 2.4 site and I'm as a teacher in my own course with editing turned on. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, I've got my add a block block and I'm going to drop down the menu and select remote RSS feeds. Now once I've done that, I've still got to go in and configure the block because it doesn't automatically pick up which feed you want to associate with it. RSS feeds are just a way for various blogs and other news services around the web to generate an automated um, reporting of information to your RSS feed reader. Uh, Moodle can become an RSS feed reader by displaying those entries within this block, but you can also use other readers on your own pages, uh, sorry, on your own computers. So with my remote news feed block now added, I'm clicking on the configure icon. And I've got some settings here that I can have a play with. Because I've already added the Moodle announcements feed to this site, I could choose to automatically just add that particular one. But really, I'd prefer to add my personal blog to this particular course because it's one that I'm teaching my students and my blog's going to be related to it. So I'm going to click on add edit feeds. You'll get this prompt as of uh, later versions of Moodle. Before you try and move off a page that you've made changes on, it'll tell you, hang on, you're about to lose those changes. It's OK in this case. We need to go and add the feed before we can add it to this particular block. So we're going to click on leave this page and add a new feed. Now I've already got my own blog's feed copied in my browser's uh, clipboard, so I can just paste it in here. You can change the custom title if you want to. Under Show Advanced, we can also enable auto discovery of feeds from this particular blog. So if you don't have the exact feed link, you can type in a link to a blog. If it has a feed, Moodle will try and find that link for you. We can click on Add New Feed. So now we've got two blogs that we can pull information from. We need to jump back down to our home page now for our course and configure that RSS feeds block again. And yes, this is kind of double handling, but the first time you add an RSS feed block to a course, you're going to need to set up the feeds before you can set up the block. And the only way to do that conveniently is through starting to set up the block. So I'm going to click the news from my teacher one. I could choose to display a link back to the blog itself, but I don't really want to, and I'm not bothered about adding an image here. I really only want it on this page, so any type of course main page is fine. I've added it to this specific course, so it's not added to any other courses yet. I'm going to save changes here. Here's the feed from my blog. Each of these is a link to an entry on that blog site. If I click on it and open link in new tab, there's my blog. This is a quick and easy way to get information that's useful to your students readily linked onto your course homepage. It's worth a try. Have fun.